and then simply go through the installation process. So we go to the Afterburner Setup Wizard and then we accept and continue through here. Now I've actually already installed this on my computer so I'm not going to do this um, but go ahead you don't need this Riva Tuner Statistics Server you don't have to check that if you want to you can uh, download it but it's not necessary. Okay so once you've downloaded that what we're going to do now is we're going to open up the program. So I've got mine on my desktop here I'm just going to double click it and again just accept and we'll wait a second and you see we have this MSI Afterburner um, that pops up. Now yours might look a little bit different depending on what version you've got, um, but it's all very similar. Okay, so you may see your sliders are going to be set to different settings based on what your graphics card is, um, but I'll go through what each of these are going to do. So the first thing we want to do if we're going to overclock our graphics card is we have to set the power limit to 100%. This is going to allow us to draw in the most electricity um, so that we can do the most with our card. So I have set mine up to 100 here. Um, and now the temperature limit. So this is completely dependent on what type of graphics card you have. For me, I feel comfortable uh, letting mine run up to 83, although it, graphics cards are able to usually run about 105 as the hottest um, temperature. You don't want to run that for very long, but if it's running for a little bit when it's starting up a program or something, that's fine. So I'm just going to leave my temperature limit here at 83. You could feel, feel free to uh, move that up if you would like. Okay, now the core clock. So a lot of people think if you want to run your graphics card like a lot faster, you're going to have to bump this core clock up a ton. That is absolutely not true. The core clock, you can see I've already have mine overclocked here at plus 122. Um, that's different than the factory default, which would be uh, plus zero, obviously. Um, so you see I've only bumped mine up a tiny bit. Um, so depending on what graphics card you have, you can just put it up a little bit and it is going to give a drastic difference. So don't, you don't have to throw your slider all the way up here to a thousand at the max. Uh, as you can see, I only did mine at about what, 150 or something like that. So I'll leave that there. Um, now the memory clock, this one, you can push a little bit further. Um, for my GPU, it's recommended to only go up to 550. So I'm going to leave it at 488 like this. And yeah, now the fan setting um, you just want to leave this on auto you can set it manually if you'd like but auto is probably the best thing so that it's automatically going to adjust depending on how fast um, and how much your graphics card is really doing so once you're done go ahead and click the check mark and there you go you saved your settings and now in this program you're able to actually monitor um, the temperature and the speed that your graphics card is running at so if you want to test um, how fast it's going to run and how hot it's going to get. You can go ahead and run a game. So if you have uh, some graphics intensive games and yeah. Okay. So the thing you're going to want to watch out for when you're testing your graphics card is right here, the temperature. Um, now the biggest killer of graphics cards. And if you hear of people blowing up their graphics card, it's because of the temperature. So really that's why I've set my temperature limit to 83 um, because anything past that running at a long period of times can be dangerous to your graphics card so if you notice that when you're running a game you've got your core clock all the way up your memory clock all the way up and your temperatures running really high like past 90 degrees celsius you're going to want to tweak it so that your temperature doesn't run as high um, that's the biggest difficulty with uh, overclocking is you really want to watch the temperature and you may notice that by simply putting your core clock down maybe even 10 megahertz um, or up a little bit the temperature could change drastically so really watch that um, yeah and then other than that you really just have to play around with your card and figure out which settings are going to give you the best ones for example my card here I'm using a GeForce 1050 Ti uh, it's a mini four gigabytes of dedicated video memory. Um, I don't want to push it too hard because it's not a very expensive graphics card. It's about $180, so it's not a super high-end one. Um, and you can see down here it says what the graphics card is and the driver version. So I'm just going to leave it at this for my overclocking. But with yours, you may want to tweak it, move it up and down a little bit, and see how much more performance you can get out of it. Um, so yeah, really overclocking. Um, it is slightly dangerous depending on how far you're going to move these sliders but by just tweaking them a little bit and moving them up a bit and continuously testing and watching the temperature you're not going to do any damage to your card and you're not going to affect any of the components in your computer um, so that's been a basic tutorial on how to overclock your graphics card um, if you want a more advanced tutorial really talking about um, 
more overclocking, let me know in the comments below. Um, and if you liked the video, please like and subscribe, and I will see you again in another one.